Let's see, can we solve this question in the fastest possible way? So clearly, pi by n plus 2 is constant because k is the only changing parameter. So the question takes the form of k to write the numerator in terms of sin a square k plus 1. So is it possible? Of course, yes, because we have already signed k plus 1. So from k plus 2, we'll try to pull out k plus 1 as structure. So this will be left with sine of k plus 1 theta plus theta cos k sine. All that we need is to multiply this expression with sine k plus 1 theta. And once you multiply, you can clearly see cos theta is constant. So that will go out of summation. We have left with sigma sine square k plus 1 theta plus Similarly, sin theta will be constant and we are left with sin k plus 1 and cos k plus 1, right? So that can be manipulated by multiplying with half and dividing and multiplying with. And that can be manipulated with multiplying and dividing by 2. So that will get sin 2 times theta into k plus 1 divided by sigma sin square k plus 1 theta. Now, it's a good news because the first term is getting cancelled. This will be eaten by this. So this expression amounts to just cos theta plus sine theta by 2, sigma sine 2 theta k plus 1 over sigma sine square k plus 1 theta. So let's evaluate this second sigma. And there is a very crazy way of recognizing this because k is running from 0 to n. Okay, so what is the significance of this term? We know uh, theta is already pi by n plus 2. So 2 theta is going to be 2y by n plus 2. So this expression is nothing but 2 pi by n plus 2 into k plus 1, right? If I multiply with k plus 1 times 2. So now if we we'll put k equals 0, the term we are getting is 2 pi by n plus 2. For k equals 1, it's 4 pi by n plus 2 and 6 pi by n plus 2 and so on and so forth. The next term is going to be 2 pi n plus 1 by n plus 2. And thereafter, the Last term will be, of course, 2 pi n plus 2 by n plus 2. Now we can recognize, we can, and of course, sign of this, we need to find, right? So this can be thought in a geometrical plane, as if the first term represents, as if the entire circle is divided into n plus 2 equal parts. So it's basically n plus 2 th root of unity. So let's say first root of unity is 1, then alpha, alpha square, we have alpha n plus 1, and alpha n plus 2 is 1. So all that we need to find is the sum of imaginary part because sine component represents the height of this. And we know sum of nth root of unity, 1 plus alpha till alpha to the power n plus 2 will be 0. So if I'll take imaginary part on both sides, that will directly give this summation to be 0. Since the second term is kicked off and the answer for this problem is just cos theta in theta according to my convention was pi by n plus 2. So I hope you enjoyed the method. Now once we know fn, rest is obvious fn we got as cos of pi by n plus 2 so limit n tends to infinity is definitely cos 0 it's going to be 1 so second option is wrong f4 we can calculate and that's giving root 3 by 2 so that's correct third one f6 we know is cos pi by 8 so cos inverse cos pi by 8 so that is 10 pi by 8 and 10 pi by 8 with 10 pi by 4 you can calculate is 2 10 theta by 2 by 1 minus 10 square by 8. So you'll get 1 equals to alpha by 1 minus alpha square. And so this is also true. For the third option, it's just cos inverse f5, which is pi by 7. So 7 into pi by 7, this is sine pi, which is 0. Hence option A, C, D is correct. Of course, you could have solved this problem by other way method also, like sum of sines of angle. So sine of n by 2 number of terms into common difference by 2 divided by sine of common difference by 2 to sine of or cos of first term plus last term by 2. So this is a standard method which is usually done in the commercial institutes, coaching institute. But yes, with the trick which I have told you and if this idea hits you, you can solve this question very fast with respect to your other competitors. I will come with more series like this. Until then, take care and please do subscribe to the channel if you really want quality education for free because it takes really hard work to give you solutions like this. Thank you. Have a good day.